Welcome to the Cardiac Diagnostic Lab at Barnes Jewish Hospital. This is where you'll come when you need to have an echocardiogram, event or Holter monitor, or an exercise or dobutamine stress echo test. Once you arrive, check in at the front desk and tell us what type of test you're scheduled for. The receptionist will give you paperwork that you will need to fill out listing your history and any medications you're taking. She will also let the staff know that you have arrived for your test. If you haven't pre-registered, we'll call registration for you and you can give them your insurance information over the phone. For our inpatients, we will call your floor and check to see when you can be brought down for your test. One of the tests we perform is an echocardiogram, also known as an ultrasound of the heart. An echocardiogram, which takes about 60 to 90 minutes to complete, provides pictures of the heart's valves and chambers to help evaluate the heart's pumping action. To prepare for the echocardiogram, we'll need you to remove your clothing from the waist up and put on a hospital gown, open at the front for access. We will then put three electrodes on your chest so that you may be attached to the heart monitor on the echo machine. You will then be asked to lie on your left side with your left arm above your head. In some cases, we may ask you to lie on your back. We place a probe with cool gel in four different places on your chest, allowing us to obtain a series of ultrasound images of your heart. If for some reason the images are difficult to see or read, it may be necessary to use a contrast agent or agitated saline for better visualization and to obtain more information for your physician. This is administered through an IV catheter in your arm or hand. Once your echocardiogram is completed, a cardiologist will view the images and report the results to your physician. There are two additional echocardiogram tests that measure how your heart responds to stress, an exercise stress echo and a dobutamine stress echo. These tests each take approximately 60 to 90 minutes to complete. The exercise stress echo involves walking on a treadmill with increasing levels of difficulty. Your electrocardiogram, or ECG, your heart rate and blood pressure are all monitored throughout the test. A physician will be present in the lab for the entire test. If you are having an exercise stress echo performed, the nurse will first attach 10 small electrodes to your chest so that your ECG and heart rate can be monitored throughout the test. This may require minimal shaving of the chest area. Once the electrodes are in place, your ECG and blood pressure will be taken while you are still resting. Also, prior to exercising, a sonographer will perform an echocardiogram. This ultrasound of your heart obtains images of how it's performing and its pumping action. As you lie on your left side, our sonographer will use a handheld device to obtain the images of your heart. As with the echocardiogram, if those images are difficult to visualize, it may be necessary to administer a contrast agent through an IV catheter in your arm or hand to improve the images for review. Next, the stress test will begin with you exercising on the treadmill with increasing levels of difficulty. As the intensity of the test increases, your heart rate and blood pressure will increase as well and you may experience some shortness of breath and leg fatigue. Your ECG, blood pressure, and heart rate will be monitored continuously throughout the test, and the nurse will assess you for any symptoms of chest, arm, or jaw discomfort, along with any lightheadedness you may be feeling. When testing is complete, you'll be helped from the treadmill quickly. This will allow the sonographer to obtain a second set of ultrasound images while your heart is still beating fast. A nurse will then monitor you for 10 minutes or so during your cool down recovery period. Your test will be read by a cardiologist to determine how your heart responded to the stress of exercise and these results will be reported to your doctor.
The dobutamine stress echocardiogram is a test that helps determine your heart's response to stress by infusing a medication called dobutamine through an IV catheter. To start, if needed, the hair on your chest under the spots where the electrodes are attached may be shaved to ensure contact with your skin. A nurse will attach 10 small electrodes to your chest to monitor your ECG and heart rate throughout the test. Once the electrodes have been placed, the nurse will obtain a resting ECG and blood pressure reading and also place an IV catheter in your arm or hand. Before the dobutamine is administered, a sonographer will perform an echocardiogram to obtain images of your heart, just as if you were having an exercise stress test. Once again, if the images are difficult to read, it may be necessary to administer a contrast agent through your IV to help improve visualization. The nurse will then begin the dobutamine infusion. There are several phases to this infusion, during which the doses of the medication are increased. As the doses are increased, your heart rate will also increase. A physician will be present in the lab for the duration of the test. Throughout the infusion, the sonographer will obtain ultrasound images and your ECG, blood pressure and heart rate will also be continuously monitored. All the while, our nurse will assess for symptoms such as chest, arm or jaw discomfort or lightheadedness. Lastly, the medication will be stopped and your heart rate will return to normal. After about 10 minutes, a final electrocardiogram and blood pressure will be taken. This completes the test and you may feel a bit tired afterward. Your test results will be read by a cardiologist to determine how your heart responded to the medication and these results will be reported to your physician. The cardiac diagnostic lab is also where you will come if you are getting an event or Holter monitor. Initially, we get the patient order from the front desk. If the test involves an event monitor, we're required to fax patient information to the monitoring company. Once the information is faxed, we get the appropriate equipment for hookup and place you in a room for your privacy. We'll let you know exactly what kind of test we're going to do and make sure you're comfortably seated before we begin. We'll then find out if you've ever worn a monitor before. This will let us know how much instruction you will need to be given about the monitor and the level of your familiarity with the process. We'll also make sure that you have the phone numbers for both the monitoring company and the cardiac diagnostic lab before you leave. Should you have any questions, concerns, or problems, we're just a phone call away. Once you're ready, we'll make sure the electrodes are in place, the monitor is hooked up, and we'll perform an initial recording for you to demonstrate how the monitor works. If you're being hooked up to an event monitor, we'll call the monitoring company to confirm that they have received all of your paperwork that was faxed to them. We'll show you how to send the monitor information over the phone, since you will do this yourself while you have the monitor. If you'll be using a 30-day event monitor, we'll give you a prepaid mailer for returning the monitor to the appropriate company. If you'll be using a 24- or 48-hour Holter monitor, you'll be instructed to return it to the front desk of the cardiac diagnostic lab or place it in the box outside of our entry doors. The tracings from the monitors will be read by one of our cardiologists and the results reported to your doctor. We pride ourselves on providing the most exceptional cardiac diagnostic experience possible. We look forward to assisting you and should you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give us a call.